YouTube, it's SJ, I'm back, I'm back from my travels and I came home to a surprise package and I have absolutely no idea what it is. You do, because it's already on the thumbnail, but let's go take a look. Hey there, it's SJ, I'm back from my travel. Mr. B will not tell me what is in this box. He ordered these for me, no idea what they are. Although actually that's not true. Now I'm gonna a little guess as to what is in this box. Now I think it's either the teen classics in the sort of inspired Mars Tom Sachs colorway, maybe. It could also be a pair of Nike SB blazers that are in a sort of a gray color with a pink sole. Maybe the NBA Nike SBs. Let's unbox. It's a very light feeling box actually, very light. So I don't think they're the Dunk High calves. The box looks tiny. I know my Nike SB box are normally Diddy, but that is like the smallest Nike SB box I've ever seen. Nike SB, Zoom Blazer Low, GT, MBA. They are a US 7, a UK 6, a European 40. They are in black, black Amarillo Coast. There we go. Are these the Golden States? <laughs> I can't get over how small this box is. Okay, okay, okay. These are nice. These are very nice. I feel a bit wrong having Golden State, even though we lived in San Francisco and we've been to see the Golden State Warriors, I'm always a bit of a Knicks girl, so this kind of feels a bit wrong. It's a nice sneaker, I know that's probably the wrong thing to say, although you guys in the US don't have the same affinity, it appears, to your sports teams as we do in the UK, so maybe I can change from coast to coast. So it's a blazer, a blazer low, it's obviously the NBA collab with Nike SB, nice little tag there. Now obviously Nike are now the main sports sponsor of the NBA, swapping, um, taking over from Adidas. And Nike SB started dropping some of the collabs with the NBA towards the end of last year. I've got the pink hoodie, Mr. B has a jacket, um, and, some, and he also has the dunks, I'd forgotten about those. Um, so yeah, they're just continuing that theme. And obviously with All-Star Weekend coming up very soon, there's a big basketball theme out there and look, hopefully there's gonna be lots of drops of very cool sneakers. I'm gonna shut up now and let's have a look at these. Now, these are black leather. Black leather on a blazer doesn't always look great in my opinion. This is actually quite nice. Now underneath here, and I'm gonna be asking Mr. B to check what I'm saying, is the black gonna wear off and it's gonna become the blue? Yeah, I thought that was the case. I'm still a bit jet lagged. I've got back from Texas this week, so I'm kind of all over the shop. So yeah, so this is gonna all fade off and it will have the blue and I think the swoosh, because you can see, if Mr. B zooms in on sneaker cam, you can see you've got the gold on the swoosh. So I'm kind of hoping that the main body of the shoe is gonna break off into the blue. And then on the swoosh, you're gonna have the, um, the yellow of the Golden State Warriors. The really nice navy blue laces, flat laces. These have been laced really well. It's gonna take me a while to get them on. And underneath the eyelets, if you can zoom in, again, you can see that blue paint just showing through. It just shows, it's just quite a nice accent tone against the, the black anyway. They're gonna fade really nicely as I wear these. These are the GT, so on the Nike tab, coming on sneaker cam it does actually say grant taylor so underneath the swoosh on on the outer foot get that right you've got two stars underneath the swoosh if you can pick that up on sneaker cam now if i turn around to the inside of the sneaker there are actually three stars just underneath the swoosh the blue sole in a standard herringbone finish that all blazers seem to have, or all Nike SB blazers seem to have. Normal white, really pure white midsole through here. Now I'm just going to take a look at this one, just have a good look around. And on the back you've got Nike stitched in as well in the golden yellow. 
Is it up to your stitching standard? It is up to my stitching standard. It's always on dunks when the E looks a little bit off to one side. Blazers, wherever they stitch it, always looks really nice and they use obviously a different font, totally different font to what they use on dunks. So let's have a look inside. I'm just gonna take some of the paper out. Okay, so these actually have, God, because they've been laced so well. This is always the way with <laughs> Nike SBs. They come laced really, really well. God, they're quite tight. That's a stiff leather. So the last leather blazers I had were my deconstructed blazers that I literally destroyed. And the leather on those are so soft. This is quite stiff. So these might take a bit of breaking in. They also have the the tongue stitched in with the elasticated bit as well. Now hopefully you're gonna be able to see this on sneaker camp. So you actually have inside the NBA logo and Nike SB. And also on the inner sole. Now, I know Mr. B always takes these out. I don't really want to. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. If I do it, I will basically ruin the shoe, whereas he has a knack to do it. So I'm just gonna show sneaker cam the inside here if you can see this mr b can you see that in the light so again it has the nba logo nike sb just really nice touches throughout again and as we said on several of our unboxings nike sb whatever collab they've done you know whoever the shoe has been for there's been some really nice touches to the sneakers that really make them down here you've got this nice little bit of stitching no again it just looks quite nice now this one is finished pretty well. I have noticed some glue marks on this sneaker. Not a lot, only a little bit. Enough for me to notice it. That's a nice sneaker. It's a real nice sneaker. I like these. I like a lot. I'm just going to pull this out just to check that there's nothing different on this one. Nope, exactly the same. Both exactly the same. Both the same on the back. Solid pickup. What do we think? I really like them. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to crack and fade really, really nicely. Basically, he's bought these because he knows that I am going to trash them totally. And it's a way for him to see how the leather cracks on, on, on the sneaker because he never trashes his sneakers that have this different colour paint underneath. So he's letting me do the trashing for him. I, oh, know, yes. I know his plan. I know his plan. So six months down the line, we will probably come back and do another video of these and you will see how much I've truly battered them over the, over the month. But I'm quite looking forward to doing that, to be honest. You know what would have been nice? What? If they put in a yellow set of laces. So there's no alternate laces? No alternate laces. I think yellow would have made these really pop. Strong pickup? Not so strong pickup. What do you guys think out there? Leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts, and if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you like what we're doing here on Pints of Stuff, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. We will be back for Sneaker Streaming Sunday, which is at 8 p.m. here in the UK, 12 p.m. on the West Coast, 3 p.m. on the East Coast, where we talk about sneakers, what we've picked up, what we've been wearing, what we've seen in the news. It's fun, come along and join in the chat and thanks to all of you that do join in the chat. I'm gonna go try these on. It's a crisp day here in the UK. I think it's a good day to put these on. What do we think, Mr. B? Oh yeah? yes. Yep, okay, I'm out of here guys. Enjoy your weekend. If, if you're watching this at a weekend. <laughs> Very nice, Mr. B, oh. very nice. Mm. Yeah, they're really nice. Nicer than I was expecting. Yeah. I think you could go straight into those now. Black is often a risky <coughs> choice, but... <laughs> He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. Black is a risky choice. I think because of the underpaint and the fact that they're not going to stay black, I think that's what makes them... Right. Need to talk the dog. Out of it. Out of it.